Inside the locker room with quarterback Nate Brackett. Nate had two touchdowns tonight, a big bounce back win. Uh, what y'all do different tonight? We changed some stuff up on offense, moved to the wing now. That really helped us out. We just really got momentum going tonight. Um, leading up to this week of practice, uh, who, who were some of the leaders that stepped up and said, hey guys, let's forget about this game. We got a game this week and move on to. Well, of course, Gan, he's really our team leader. He's always after people. But me and Ralph stepped up. There's probably a couple others, but I mean, that's the main thing. Gan's the main thing. Uh, what was Coach Webb's message to y'all before the night? Before the night? Well, we just need to put all the pieces together and then it will be all right when try. They had a big win tonight against Sweetwater. We've got Teleco Plains next week. Uh, what are some things y'all have to improve upon to get another victory next week? We'll have to fix our counters and just fix little things that will help us out the next game. And uh, you, you were able to get your uh, spiritual uh, mentor back, Gavin Evans, tonight. Uh, would you like to give a comment on Gavin Evans? It's always good to have him back. He's 
We're a, t we're a total package. Not even do it. I guess you could call us that. All right, Nate, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Serious. Inside the locker room with Dylan Williams. Dylan, we had two touchdowns tonight, a load of tackles. Uh, everything seemed to come together tonight. Yeah, it felt good. Everything, everybody, our defense was, our line was great. I was great. And then I was just executing plays as the coach told me to do. Speaking of coaches, Coach Allen's inside the locker room. Would you like to send him a message? Uh, I'm going all right. I mean, it was a big bounce back win tonight. What did you all do tonight different than at the midway game? Well, we got our line. Our line was like we hadn't messed up like on our box and everything, but we got our line situated and everything, and the box were okay. And we just going forward with the ball. And you've got a big opponent uh, next week in Teleco Plains. What are you going to have to improve on this next week to pick up another win? I'd say probably our offense line. Probably still keep like, staying with their blocks and everything, so we keep the court up protected. All right, congratulations on a big win. Good luck next week. Thank you. Here with Rockwood running back, formerly known as Taj Boyd and Taj Brazel. Taj Basil. Taj, you had three touchdowns in the first quarter tonight. Tell us about them. Well, well, the first one I had a little uh, reception. Nate went out, threw it back, got a great touchdown. And the other one was a pick six. And the third one was a great run in um, for a touchdown. Taj, you played receiver last week. Uh, there were some injuries that moved you to the wing. Did you like playing wing? Yes, a lot. It gave me the ball a lot more than last week, and I think it showed on the field today. Taj, you transferred in um, as a senior. Uh, was, it a, was it an adjustment, uh, meeting some of your new teammates, or, or did you already know some of them? Was it a pretty easy? jail with them pretty quick? Uh, I felt comfortable coming in because these were my teammates four years ago back in middle school and I felt it, it jailed pretty quick and I felt comfortable. Because as a wing you got to give a lot of credit to your O-line tonight. How do you think they did? Oh, uh, they played great. Uh, like without them I won't have all these touchdowns. Bill, uh, congratulations on a big win tonight and good luck next week against Teleco Players. Thank you. Inside the locker room with Rockwood freshman David Collett. Dave, first home game at Civic Field tonight. Walk us through your touchdown play tonight. You know, it, uh, I came from the B gap, just blitzed through there, and uh, executed our game plan and walked that punt and then scooped it up and ran in for a touchdown. So it was a scoop and score. It looked like uh, Dom was trying to get in there and take it from you. You made sure to scoop it up before he could. Yes, sir, that's right. And. Uh, what was going through your mind when you picked it up? Did you, would you think fall on it? Did you think scoop and score? What happened? I was thinking last year I fell on it and I highly regretted that. Make sure I'm going to scoop it and try to score. Well, congratulations on your scoop and score tonight and good luck next week against the Teleco Bears. Thank you. Here with Rockwood head coach John Webb. Coach, a big bounce back tonight. I'm not sure anybody in the stadium expected uh, tonight's outcome. I think some of us knew we were capable of it. But um, just a big overall great win tonight for the Tigers. Well, that's, you know, deservingly so. You know, the way we played last week, you know, we, uh, bottom line, we stunk it up. Um, you know, but we, we felt like we was a better team than what we played last week. We came in this week and kind of tried to forget about it and, you know, made a few adjustments and, uh, you know, came out and played well. Tonight. Coach had a lot of big plays from a lot of playmakers, uh, one Taj Basil. How effective was moving him from receiver to uh, wing? I know it was because of an injury, but how effective was that? Well, you know, I, we felt like it was real effective. You know, we got to get the ball in his hands, and last week we couldn't. You know, there was double covering him and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we knew that if we put him back in the backfield, that we was able to get the ball in his hands on several occasions, and we was able to do that. Coach uh, threw the ball impressively well tonight, ran the ball impressively well. Overall, just a, just a good game for both sides of the football. Well, I, I think it was, you know. Uh, I, I, we just looked at the stats and we threw for 160 something yards and rushed for well over 200 and you know the numbers were good and uh, you know we had some big plays you know with uh, Taj making the, the interception and really got us out front right there to begin the game and uh, you know that was that was just big for us built confidence and that's what this team's been like it's a lot of confidence. Coach and we also noticed you had uh, playmakers from freshmen to seniors tonight you had a had a block punt scoop and score you had even a the, the substitutes at the end of the game, they weren't just out there. They were they were making plays. Well, we really were, and uh, you know we we tried to tell them that. You know, you one play from you know playing, and you know we're trying to build depth, and uh, you know we did. I thought we did a good job of that this week. You know, getting people a lot of reps, and 
you know, that's what's most important right now is, you know, because you never know what's going to happen. During this long season, things are going to happen. And, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to build some depth and be able to count on some guys that are coming in, you know, off the bench and uh, ready to play for us. Coach, uh, talking into the locker room with some of the guys, uh, they mentioned Jonathan Gann as one of the maybe silent, maybe vocal leaders of the, of the locker room on the practice field. How was he during this week getting the guys maybe back into the mindset of we've got another game to play, forget about last week? Well, you know, Jonathan's come a long ways, you know, in his four years here. You know, he's uh, come from a kid that, uh, you know, battled injuries early on. You know, he comes out each and every day and he works hard and, uh, you know, he don't care to say something, you know, when it needs to be said. And, um, you know, that's what we got to have. You know, we got to have some people that's going to come out and practice hard and be leaders that way, but we also got to have people that's going to say something when they need, need needs to be said. And, uh, you know, he's one of those guys, and we're, we're looking for a few others to step up and do the same thing as well. Coach, and how, how, is, how important is that coming from players? Sometimes it feels like a player might take it better from a player than a coach. Well, they, uh, you know, I, I tell them all the time, they're going to get tired of listening to me. You know, they're going to get tired. It's going to start when I start preaching the same old thing week in and week out. You know, it's going to just go through one ear and out the other. So, you know, eventually, you know, they're going to tune me out. They always do. I don't care what any coach says. Uh, it's one of those things that happen, you know, over the course of talking to them every single day and hearing the same old stuff from the same person every single day. Uh, you know, sometimes it's good to hear it from somebody else, and that's what we're trying to do. Coach, congratulations tonight on a big win, and good luck next week against Teleco Plains. All right, thank you. Here we go. And with the final score of 47 to 13, Rockwood bounces back and picks up their first win of the season at home at Civitan Field. Join us next week as the Tigers take on the Teleco Bears at home at Civitan Field. For the Rockwood Sports Network, I'm Chase Clem. We'll see you next Friday night.